Hello, I'm Janie Muse. I'm going to show you how to create a realistic frame and use the color picker for the color to come straight out of the image. I'll also show you how to use the bevel and emboss effect. Here is how the finished frame will look, giving the impression that you have a real frame outside your photograph. Here is a photograph I want to add a frame to. I need to work on the background and to unlock it I double click on the word background, layer 0 comes up automatically and I click OK. Now I'll use a stroke under effects. The layer style window appears, you've ticked stroke and you have options to make some changes. Position inside, by default it's color black and I'll increase the size until it looks the way I want it. I might make quite a large frame for this. Click OK. Next, select the rectangular marquee tool, feather zero, and make sure it's on the new selection. Click top left of the photograph to bottom right selecting inside the frame, let go, select inverse and this is going to be your frame. You can drag the effect to the bin because now you're going to control J or command J to put the frame on a new layer. To make the frame look more realistic I'm going to use a bevel and emboss effect. The layer style window opens and you have several choices. Use a bevel. Inner bevel works here. Change the size. Depth, I don't want it too deep. Don't want the size to be too big either. I don't want it softened. Click OK. Click the eye next to layer 0 so we can see the picture below. While the frame is still selected, edit, fill. You need to click color again so the color picker comes up and select a soft blue within the frame. Click OK, click OK. There's your frame. Control D or Command D to deselect. Because I've created the frame inside the photograph, it has resulted in cropping in too closely to some important elements of the photograph here. I'm going to duplicate the background layer, edit, transform, scale. I'll use the corners, top left first to resize within the frame, press enter. Now this step you won't have to do if your photograph has plenty of room around the edges. I've just used it on this one because I lose too much of the photograph. Flatten and save.